In this video, we will look at a commonly used separation technique, which you may have already met in chemistry, and see how it's applied in the synthesis of organic compounds, as done in the pharmaceutical industry. Ideally, a chemical reaction will give only a single clean product. But in the real world, especially when dealing with organic chemical reactions, we get multiple products, all of which need separating and maybe identifying. This shows in simple terms how the products of a reaction might look when chromatography is done at the end of a reaction. Here, only tiny amounts of material are being handled, but we will need to separate grams, if not much more, of material from a whole reaction. Here we use column chromatography. A glass tube or column is filled with an inert medium, such as alumina, so that solvent can be passed down the column under gravity. This is the chromatogram of a reaction mixture. The colours are to help you see what's happening. But column chromatography works the opposite way around. The reaction mixture is placed on top of the column and solvent added to maintain a constant flow down the column. See how the separation takes place. By changing beakers at the right time, pure samples of each chemical can be obtained once the solvent has been evaporated. This technique can be used to separate quite large masses of materials. This then allows the identity of each chemical to be found using other techniques such as NMR and mass spectroscopy. Column chromatography also provides pure materials, essential if the substance is to be used in medication. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.